Here's a behind the scenes look at a home staging job here in South Jersey. We'll talk about some of the challenges we faced with this home as well as uh, some nice before and after photos. Hope you enjoy it. So this home was built in the 1930s. It's been on the market for about 150 days when they called us in to stage it. The first challenge is which room is the living room? Where the fireplace is or this room here? This looks like a dining room because it has a light fixture. This is what we think is the living room, but what's this room up front? It looks like it was a porch divided in two. And again, that's not uncommon for a 1930s home, but where do you put your furniture? How do you live in the house? How does the house flow and feel? Buying a home is an emotional purchase. Buyers need to feel good about it and visualize themselves living there. So let's bring in some furniture and see what we can do to make this house uh, feel more like a home. The question many sellers ask is if they should stage the house at all or when they should stage a house. So waiting until after the house is listed is not always the best plan since you're wasting many thousands of dollars in carrying costs like taxes, cost of capital, etc. And the cost of staging would have been much cheaper. So you can look at it this way also. The cost of staging is much less than your first price reduction will be if the house doesn't sell immediately. So why take that risk? While it's true some vacant houses do sell sometimes without staging, again, why take the risk? Just hedge your bet and stage it before you put it on the market and put your best foot forward. Now that being said, if your home has already been on the market 30 days or 90 days, don't wait another 30 or 90 days to get it staged. Do it now. Now a quick word on virtual staging because it's impressive what computers and AI can do today, but in my opinion virtual staging is an absolute waste of time and money. When buyers look at virtual pictures, they make the decision to come look at the house. It does nothing to, to elicit the emotional response that buyers have when they make the decision to buy, which is generally at the showing or after they see the house. So if they walk into a vacant house after looking at virtual photos, it's confusing to them. And you've missed the opportunity to have them connect on an emotional level. Staging helps buyers visualize themselves living there and helps them down the path to making an offer. So back to our behind the scenes look at this staging job. Despite having to put this desk together for about an hour at the last minute, and despite having to deal with some heavy downpouring rains which delayed the job another hour, uh, everything kind of came together and the house is looking more like a home already. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Please take a minute to look at the after photos and let us know what you think. Mm -hmm.